Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to know how to use the rulers. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure you're actually displaying the rulers. And to do that, just go to the View tab on your ribbon. And there is the option for ruler. You need to make sure that is ticked. You also need to be in the Print Layout view. Now, to change the units that are being used in your ruler, on mine, I'm currently using inches. What you do is you go to File, and then down to Options at the bottom left there. Then go to Advanced, and then scroll down this list of options until you can see the Display section. And to change the units, you use this little drop down. You can see you can change it to centimeters or millimeters, for example. I'll keep it at inches. The other thing you can do is show the vertical ruler. Now that is ticked by default, but if you can't see the vertical ruler down the side of your screen, just make sure that is ticked. Then click on OK and you're done. Now the first thing we'll look at is how to change the margins using the ruler. Now we'll do it for the vertical ruler first of all. If I just place my mouse pointer over the top of the ruler, you can see I get a arrow pointing up and down, and then I can drag to increase or decrease the top margin. Now, if you have a specific size in mind, hold down Alt whilst dragging, and you'll see a little measurement indicator there. So I could get it to one inch, for example. Now I can do the same on the horizontal ruler. It's a little bit trickier because this control is in the way, but I can just drag it over to the side temporarily. And I did that by dragging the bottom part of it, the little rectangle, and then I can drag to the left or the right. And if I hold down Alt, I can get a very specific measurement for my margin. Okay, so now let's look at how to indent paragraphs. What we'll do first of all is we'll indent the first line of this paragraph. Now to do that, use the top element in this control here. If I point it at, you can see it says first line indent. And if I drag, to a new position, it indents the first line only of this paragraph. Now, if I wanted to do that for all paragraphs in the document, what I can do is easily select all of the text, excluding the headings within the document. So to do that, I go to Home, and then I'm looking in the Styles group. Now, you can see here that for this paragraph that I'm clicked into, the normal style is being used. How do I know that? Well, I can see a black border around it. Now, if I right click on that normal style and then go to select all 35 instances, it selects all of those paragraphs within my document. So what I can then do is just drag that first line indent over to a new position. I can see this is actually slightly grayed out. That must mean there are different settings on different paragraphs. So if I click on it again, it'll apply that setting to all paragraphs. Okay, I'll just remove that first line indent. Now I want to talk about hanging indents. And we're going to apply hanging indents to this part of the document. Now the hanging indent control is the middle part of this indent control up here on the ruler. So you can see if I pointed it, it says hanging indent. Now what I'm going to do is drag that to half an inch. In fact, I'll drag it to one inch. And you can see it indents everything but the first line of the paragraph. Now, what I want to do is to move in the first line, everything after the colon over to that same position, to the one inch position on the ruler. And I can do that with a tab. Now, you can control the tabs you're using by looking at this little control over here on the left side of the ruler. You can see as I pointed it currently, it says left tab. But if I clicked on it again, it would say center tab, then right tab, etc. So there's a few more tabs we won't go into during this video. The main ones you're going to want are left, center, and right. Now what I'm going to do with that left tab selected there is I'm going to click somewhere on the ruler. Let's say there. You can see I get my tab on the ruler. But what I want is that tab to be in the same position as the hanging indent. So I'm going to drag it over to that position. 
And then what I can do is use the tab key on my keyboard to tab this text over to that one inch position. Now I'll give you another example where you might use tabs. If I wanted to create a little table here, so I've got name as my first column. What I'm going to do over here is change this to a center tab, and place that tab at two and a half inches. So what I can then do is tab over to that position and type email. And then I'm going to place a right tab over on the six inch position on the ruler and I'll tab again and type address. So if I now come down on a new line, you can see that this text is left aligned. It's got no tab on it. But if I tab on my keyboard over to the email column, you can see that this is center aligned. If I tab again, you can see that this text is right aligned on that tab. So you can place as many tabs as you like along this ruler. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.